Once I deliver her safely, I can finally retire. Time to pop some wood between us and your zero. I mean hero. Oh, so clever. How old are you? Nine? Oh, come on! These trees are totally fucked. Maybe you should consider branching out into a new career, Bob. You think that's gonna stop him? Yeah, I kinda do. <laughs> Cloudbury Kingdom revels in the kind of split-second precision platforming that can turn even the most bashful of players into a rage-spitting, controller-hurling mess. Its excellent procedurally generated levels make it a rather unique proposition too, giving you a lesson in patience and unwavering dexterity. Success doesn't come easy in Cloudbury Kingdom, but knowing that you've worked yourself to the bone to achieve something that perhaps no one else has is a very wonderful thing. That's not to say such attractions are obvious at first glance. Cloudbury Kingdom is not a pretty game. It's overly flat and overly simplistic, and the animation looks like someone is awkwardly shuffling cardboard cutouts around the screen. But pick up a controller and all is forgiven. Bob, as your character is known, is a very responsive chap. And while he lacks the defined, weighty feel of a Mario or Meat Boy, he moves with a precision that makes nailing those all-important split-second jumps and tight mid-air maneuvers a pleasure. That's a good thing too, because Cloudbury Kingdom gets very challenging very quickly. Sure, the first few levels put just a handful of moving platforms between you and victory, but you're soon faced with performing lightning-fast perfect runs over precariously placed enemies and saw traps. Repetition and muscle memory secure the path to victory, so while each level may only last a few seconds once you nail it, expect to spend a great deal longer leaping to your death and meticulously practicing each and every jump to get there. It's an intoxicating feeling when you overcome the seemingly impossible, and the uniqueness of each procedurally generated level makes victory taste all the more sweet. The level generator is impressive, and you rarely feel like a level has just been spat out of a computer at random. There's always just the right amount of jumps to make and obstacles avoid in just the right places to offer up a challenge. And just when you think that you've got it nailed, Cloudbury Kingdom throws new abilities into the mix. These range from the classics such as a double jump through to the absurd like being stuck inside a cardboard box or on a rocket powered trolley. All of them completely change the dynamics of the game, with the level generator creating excellent unique challenges for each ability. The quickfire nature of these abilities and the sheer difficulty of the levels do inevitably cause some frustration, but it's never in question that it's your own skills at fault rather than flawed game design. Cloudbury Kingdom is both exciting and terrifying in equal measure, with a just one more go feel that makes it incredibly hard to tear yourself away. Plus, with an ever-changing set of levels, it has a replay value that few in the genre can match. Sure, Cloudbury Kingdom doesn't look like much, and there are moments when you'll want to tear your hair out in frustration, but that warm, fuzzy feeling of satisfaction and reward makes putting up with that frustration more than worth it. Seriously, Bob? You call this a rescue? Who said I was here for you, princess? Um, every medieval fairy tale ever written? What a lovely reunion. Can I offer you some punch? <laughs>